Hi, welcome to the PicoScope guided test for a gasoline direct injection injector, voltage and current waveforms. My name is Barnaby Donoghue, I work here at Pico Technology and I'm going to take you through the test. So first thing we do is we select the test from the automotive menu in PicoScope. So if we go to automotive, actuators, petrol injectors, and then it's gasoline direct injection, voltage and current. Once we've selected the test, PicoScope automatically configures itself with the right voltages, um, time bases and triggers, so you don't need to do any of that. It also presents a uh, example waveforms so that uh, you can see what to expect before you run the test. So, PicoScope's configured and that next thing we need to do is to connect it up. So, uh, first, we'll just uh, quickly put the, a good earth here onto the battery earth terminal, which is nice convenient. Then on these injectors, they're controlled by the ECU on both sides of the circuit, so on the positive and ne negative side. So we need two voltage probes. So we can connect channel A and channel B. Because access is very tight on this vehicle, I've used breakout leads, uh, which make it much easier to get the probes onto the right connectors. So we've done the voltage, now we're also going to use a current clamp to look at injector current. We've set that to the 20 amp range, we zero the amp meter, and then we connect that around one of the breakout leads. Um, so we're connected to the vehicle. We're also connected to the scope, channel A, B, two voltages, and the current into, cha uh, into channel C. All connected. Next thing we need to do is to run the test. So on this vehicle, we're going to start the engine. We're then going to run PicoScope to capture the waveforms from the running engine. When we're happy or not with what we see, we're going to stop PicoScope, then we're going to stop the engine. So let's start the engine first. With the engine started, let's see what waveforms we get. We can either click go or press the space bar. Lovely, so we've got uh, waveforms on the screen. With two voltages and a current. And you can stop the capture. Now let's stop the engine. Straight away, we can compare what we've got on our screen to the example waveforms in PicoScope. Uh, we can look at more specific detail. We've got waveform notes which describe which voltages to get at which point in the waveform and which point in the current waveform as well. Um, maybe we're not sure about that. We want to look at other examples. So we've got our waveform library, and that's made up of contributions from PicoScope users from all around the world. And that may be injector waveforms for uh, all different makes and models of vehicle. Um, maybe you need a little bit more background information. Well, we've also got our further guidance, and that includes uh, component information, so injector information in this case, information about its uh, function, its function in the system, and uh, other background information. And then at the end of the test, we've also got diagnostic trouble codes. Which, failing all of that, don't forget, there's plenty more information at picoauto.com. Please feel free to have a rummage around there and uh, look for information that may or may not help. We hope you've enjoyed this and please visit us again soon. Thank you.